Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how to set up the Bunsen burner for the lab that we're going to be having this week. Alright, first thing, I've got my Bunsen burner right here. I've got my tube to go along with it. I've got my sparker. And then of course, good old safety glasses or goggles in your case. That way we're practicing safe, safety all the way around. Alright, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure that I've got my tube. I'm going to hook it up to the gas. Right, make sure that's secure there. All right. If you want to test to make sure you can hear it, you just kind of lean your ear over, turn the gas on slightly. I can hear it coming out. We're good. All right. Now there's a couple pieces to your burner that you're going to need to look at. All right. Right here, this part, the pistol part. Okay. This is what allows air to flow into the Bunsen burner. All right. That way your mixture is good. Now at the bottom, this adjusts the amount of gas that's flowing from the tube up into the burner itself. So I'm going to make sure that that is uh, set properly and we're going to adjust both of those so that we can get the correct kind of flame. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and turn my gas on. All right, I don't want to turn it on full blast because if I do, it's chances are when I spark it, it's going to blow the flame out. So I'm just going to turn it on just a little bit to where I can just barely hear it. Start with my sparker down low, raise it up, and then I'm going to start spark right about a, a couple inches above the burner. Oh, now you can see I think I got the gas a little too high, just a little lower. There we go. Now we've got a flame going from behind there. Mr. Long hit the, the lights for me, so that's perfect. All right, so now I've got it there, and as I adjust it, all right, this is already pretty good, but I'm going to show you some of the things that are the way it shouldn't look, okay? So if I don't have any, if I don't have any air flowing there, so it's not a proper mixture, you'll notice that the flame is very wavy, and you'll notice that it gets to where it's really a yellow color. That means that it's all just gas burning, all right? Not a proper combustion mixture, all right? If I've got it adjusted properly, I should have a nice blue flame, okay? And then I can adjust the bottom to make sure my gas, so you can see as I adjust the gas, the flame is going to get taller or smaller depending on how much gas I'm letting go through there. Alright, once I've got it set up properly, it should be a nice flame. And I'm going to zoom in here and let you see what it should look like with the proper cone. Okay, so now I've zoomed in guys and you can see that I've got two flames or two cones that are in the Bunsen burner. Okay, you should see there's a kind of inner cone that's kind of a nice bright blue compared to that outer cone okay if I was heating something a test tube or something like that, that I needed to put directly into the flame I'd want it to be just above that inner blue cone that's what's gonna make it the hottest part that's the hottest part of the flame that's where I would want to heat those things up at alright well that's how you're gonna set up your Brunson burner we'll tie it out in the lab and hopefully everybody will be able to get their flame to look like that Okay guys, so now that we're done with our lab, all right, we're gonna make sure that we go ahead and turn it off. I'm not gonna like blow the flame out, all right? All I'm gonna do is if I just reach over and I'm gonna turn my gas off all the way, it should turn the flame out and then I can disconnect my hose. There we go. That cuts the gas off, the flame goes out, and now when I'm done, I can disconnect my hose. There we go, it's good, and now I can put my Bunsen burner back where it needs to be stored in the drawer or wherever your teacher has it, all right? There we go, guys. Thanks.